Alright, I would usually start off my reviews with like the hey what's up guys and stuff, but I gotta be a little bit serious during this review. Um, this is, and I'm gonna tell you right off the gate, Joker, I'm not even gonna get to the, I'm not gonna spoil anything in this movie, I'm just gonna say right off the chase, it's great. It, it is a great movie. Um, ja I was supposed to say Jaquan. Um, Joaquin Phoenix is phenomenal in this. He does a great role and he will probably win the Oscar for the uh, the Oscars next year. That being said, I just want to, before I start this review, I just want to say right off the bat, um, if, and the government put on, there's been like FBI warnings and stuff, but if you have, if you have, um, like serious thoughts and stuff like that, violent thoughts, do not see this movie. This is a movie that will probably influence you to do evil, evil things. And I usually don't think about stuff like that like usually not mostly but like when i have well, this movie i'm not gonna lie i was like thinking about stuff and it's if you and probably a lot of people are gonna think that stuff but i know i'm not gonna do anything this movie will make you well it won't make you but if you're like violent like if, if you have like serious violent thoughts, don't see this this will influence you to i'm just pointing out a warning right now do not see this um it's great, yes, he's phenomenal in this. This is a great movie, but this should not be seen by people who think that uh, they will that they think they're gonna turn violent at some point. Don't see it. But let's cut to the actual movie review. I'm not even I'm gonna be serious during this review because this is not a funny movie. It's not funny. This is a serious movie. Um there's maybe like one or two like tiny little chuckles in there like they make kinda like funny. But, like, it's nothing about, like, the violence or anything. It's, like, the, but, like, throwing, like, some, like, just, like, some funny lines. Just, like, I guess, like, lighten it just a little bit. But this is a serious movie. This is, like, dark. And I mean dark. Um, this is just, oh, my God. I don't even want to talk about, like, that much about, like, the, the controversy. But it's influence like, not influencing me, like, violently. But it's influencing me to talk about it instead of talking about the actual movie. I, oh my god. Controversy. Oh. But, I mean, yeah, I did have to put a warning up, but let's talk about the actual movie. Joaquin Phoenix. Oh my god, he is so good in this movie. You, when you watch the movie, you feel his pain. You actually, and IGN, I don't usually like IGN, but they point out in their review that his, like, he lost weight for this role, and his chest is, like, Oh my god, he must have, like, lost, like, a serious amount of weight to do this, and he is committed to doing this role, and I love that. Um, and even point on the review, too, and I agree with this. Um, like, when he laughs, he feels like he's in pain, and that's part of the performance I really liked. Um, and I just love his performance in this movie. He is fabulous. Um, Zazie Beetz, uh, who played Domino in, uh, Deadpool. She's in this, but she's not in it too much. She kind of just brought in because, like, hey, she's a popular star from last year. Let's bring her in again. But, I mean, I don't... Like, she really had nothing to do in this. Um, I didn't think she had that much to do in Deadpool 2 either, but she was still, I think, more prominent in that than she was in this. <sighs> Robert De Niro. I thought he was going to phone it in in this, but he is really good in this. Um, Not in it that much like Zazie Beats, but she, he is really good. Um, what should I talk about? Um... Let's talk about the story, because the story is interesting. Instead of, like, doing a guy who is evil at first, but then he turns good at, by the end, that's what a lot of movies do. This was so unique, because I, there's probably movies out there probably do this, and a lot of you guys knew this going into the movie. I'm just going to warn you guys right now. No spoilers or anything, but how do you really think the movie's going to end? I mean, like, it's not going to be, like, your typical movie ending. Um... And I'll admit, the ending wasn't that great. Uh, they kind of rushed some things. Um, but the comic book part of this movie really isn't until the last five minutes. You guys might not want to know what I'm talking about, but when you guys see the movie, you will know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I mean, this movie is like, oh my god. I actually didn't have any flaws with it. I mean, I'm like sitting through this movie and I'm like, I don't notice anything wrong. The only thing I didn't like was the ending. But... I mean, there was really not a really great way you could, uh, like, 
the ending, like, there really wasn't a great way you can end it, because you, you kind of already know what's going to happen. But, I mean, they just, like, the last, like, shot's kind of weird. And I also love, this isn't even a spoiler, I love that they opened the movie with, um... They didn't open it with the Warner Brothers logo. They opened it with, like, the 80s Warner Brothers logo, which I loved. Um, and also, uh... Just so you guys know, no DC logo before the movie. That, that was shocking to me. Which which is because, I think, because it's not really a DC movie. Um, this is a great movie, though. Um, like I said, the warning, if you have some thoughts, um, don't see this. Um, you think you're going to hurt people? Don't see this, because uh, it might influence you. But this is a great movie. Um, I was hesitant on my rating. I have never given a DC movie, even really a Marvel movie, this high of a rating. I usually give, like... I think I gave Avengers, like, a 10 out of 10, like, Endgame. But that was, like, my enjoyment rating. And, like, my movie rating was, like, a 9 out of 10, I think. But here's the thing with this one. The enjoyment rating is probably, like, a 6 or a 7. And that's because this isn't really a movie you're going to want to watch that many more times. Um, even though it's it's still, like, very good. It's just a movie you, like, don't really want to watch, like, that many times. Because, like, it's disturbing, you know. Uh, but movie rating, this this is, I think, for me, is a 10 out of 10. I mean, this is, like, serious, like, good acting. And this is, like, what... So all superhero movies should actually be like this. But this is what, like, I think, like, they're, they're pushing to much like not doing and i think they should start doing this more but not like like not like the these like violent movies um like hurt like actual like criminal like i think they should just start like doing like more like interesting stuff like this and not like this like all the time but i mean they should just start doing like more like interesting things like like superhero movies i really don't have to do with like superheroes and i think that's actually really interesting so i'm going to give joker an enjoyment rating of 7 out of 10. I'm going to give it a movie rating of 10 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss any future videos.